how you think our political leadership is handling this situation, namely Trudeau excluding Andrew Scheer from a pretty high-level meeting that he actually included Elizabeth May in, of all people. How do you think Conservative voters are going to respond to being excluded from that meeting? Well, I think you're being very generous when you say A, political leadership, and B, handling, because I don't think either is really accurate right now. We have no leadership on this issue in Canada, and I think it's also safe to say we have no handling of the situation right now. I mean, these situations are so critical in Canada. You have, uh, forgetting about the job losses at uh, VIA and CN, albeit temporary, you've got uh, goods that can't get across the country, you've got people that can't do their jobs, you've got public safety issues. And all of this, I, I think, is entirely preventable if the law is enforced. And, you know, despite the fact that I am not a, a great ally of Justin Trudeau, these situations are the things that, for me, are not partisan situations. These are areas where I think everyone should get behind the prime minister if the prime minister is actually doing something which right now isn't happening. So the fact that this multi-partisan meeting ends up being this uh, mean girl's routine where Andrew Scheer has to stay on the other side of the lunchroom while Elizabeth May and Yves-Francois Blanchet and Jagmeet Singh and, and Justin Trudeau talk is absolutely ridiculous. And it's offensive not just to conservatives, but I think to all Canadians, because it shows that Trudeau is putting partisanship above actual solutions. Well, Scheer's response to this has been to file a motion of non-confidence in the House of Commons. Do you think that that is a proportionate response to pull the whole government down uh, as a result of these negotiations and even sheer not being included in the meetings. And, and secondarily, do you think that there's any chance that this will actually pass? Well, no. I, I think the fact that the other leaders were in the meeting and Scheer wasn't indicates that we have a de facto coalition government here. As far as whether it's a, a proportionate response, I don't see the non-confidence motion as being justified because of the meetings and because of the exclusion of the Conservatives. I see it as being justified because of the Liberals not wanting to enforce the law right now. I mean, in question period today, you had Trudeau blaming the Ontario government saying, oh, you know, that." Uh, rail blockade in Ontario. That's that's Ontario's problem. Well, no, this is a national crisis right now. And when the government is talking about de-escalation instead of enforcing the law, I think we're past that point where we can say that the government deserves anyone's confidence on this. These rail blockades have, have started um, in British Columbia, I believe, in, in, in Ontario, and it's started to move and spread to Quebec and Alberta. And Quebec and Alberta is what I want to talk about because Quebec and Alberta don't like to take much. They don't put up with much. And the, the premier of Quebec, the first minister, is already speaking with provincial police uh, uh, trying to coax them into breaking up this blockade. Now in Alberta, the provincial police is of course the RCMP and Jason Kenney's government has already been talking about rearranging their position in Confederation. Do you think that this is a pretty uh, prime pedestal for Justin, uh, for Jason Kenney to launch off of, uh, to launch a new provincial police force? Well, yeah, I mean, you have to look at this in, in the broader context of other issues that are going on. Western alienation is a big thing. I know you and I saw each other a couple of months ago in Red Deer at a conference that was focused on uh, raising that question. And, and certainly for Albertans, whose, uh, ultimately whose energy independence relies on a national pipeline network and a national flow of energy from, from west to east, uh, there is a huge problem here when the government is saying that, ah, you know, we're going to let anyone in the country who wants to just set up camp on a rail station uh, to make this point. We're going to let that fly. We're not going to stop that. So uh, this is, I, I think, a, a failing of the government on the First Nations file, a fail of government on, an en on the energy file, and yeah, a fail of the federal government on the Alberta file as well. That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.